Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a sheet of copy paper and turn that piece of paper into these beautiful necklaces made with paper clips and your painted paper. Now I have a video, and I'll link to that one below this video, that will show you the steps on how to make this actual necklace. Today's video is going to be to show you how to create the paper that you wrap around. I hope I can get a good close-up here. Let's see. So you can see they look like watercolors and it's just very simple to do. It makes beautiful necklaces. I have so many that I've made like this. I also have some for sale at the Old Timer Shop in Sanford. What did I choose for a price? $2.50? Something like that. They're very, very inexpensive. I just like to make them so I can uh, have something to do and I just sell them cheap just to move them. Let's get started. All you need is a sheet of regular copy paper and some paint and some simple paint brushes. For paint, if you want, you can go and get a tray of watercolor paints at the dollar store or you can use whatever paints you happen to have in your house. You could use even markers for this project and watercolor markers would be better. Not like a permanent Sharpie, but just the cheapy kids markers or even highlighters because highlighters are not permanent. So those run. You would like something that runs and soaks in so you can get the um, watercolor marbled look. Okay, so you're going to take a sheet of paper. Just so you don't have to eye things, you can fold it in half so you can see a center line. You're going to do a wash on the entire sheet of paper so that way when you do cut your paper to wrap around your paper clips, any parts that like might stick out from under the paper will be colored to match the beads. But you really only have to decorate the center about, I'd say, two inches to each side of the line. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Because when you cut this in half, you're going to wrap your strips around your paper clip. And only this part of the paper is actually going to show on the outside of the bead that you make. So I like to use, um, let me see, I have some other samples here too. I like to use these big jugs of tempera paint. These are only $1.77 at Walmart and there is a lot of paint in there and you can mix it with water to thin it and you can mix it with something like an acrylic gloss medium if you want to make it be more permanent. So I am using black but I will tell you none of these colors that I buy are true. The black looks green on the paper. The red, which, you know, kind of even looks pink in the container, definitely is more pink, but I don't, I don't really care because they're cheap and that's all I care about. So what I do is I'm just going to put some paint right here on the paper. This is so fun and just lets you be like a child. And I have a black little sponge. You can pick up sets of paint brushes that include these sponges at Walmart. I mean, you can spend all kinds of money on paint brushes. Buy the cheapest things you can find. And I'm going to wet it. I just have a can here of water. And I'm just going to wash this page, the whole page. Now you'll see that the paint stained and made darker spots. That's absolutely fine. We're going to be adding many more spots. So you just paint your whole piece of paper don't care about which way the lines go. None of that matters. And done. Now we're going to start to create the colors that we want in the center, which will be actually part of the bead. I have no idea what I'm going to do, so let's just take some... I'm going to put some paint right here on this thing. I'm going to take some of this red that ends up actually looking pink. I'm going to take a brush this time. Any old brush will do. Let me back up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to make some spots. How about that? It can be anything you want. Anything. I'm telling you, you can do this. Now maybe... I'll do a couple like little crosses or something. Or 
Always go over the edge of your paper because you want it to look like, you know, that the pattern continued all the way across. All right, since I don't like to waste, I used up the rest of my red, which looks pink. <laughs> I'm gonna let that dry. Now you'll see here that, like for instance, this piece, you can see I washed this with yellow and I used some of that red and then it looks like I did some purple. So I'm just gonna use up a little bit of this and finish up on there. And then let's pretend that this is the one we just worked on. When your paper is dry, you can take either just cheapy white glue or your gloss medium or some like I have extreme glitter paint that dries clear where's my Mod Podge right here you can have some Mod Podge whatever you feel like using you're going to be you know glazing your bead before you make it you glaze the paper and then when your bead is finished you're done you don't have to go and glaze each individual bead so I like to use some of this acrylic gloss medium so I'm just going to put some right there. This is um, $4 for this gigantic tube, I should put it that way, at Walmart. And I'm just going to spread that all around. And it's going to pick up some of the paint and move it around and model the colors and stuff. And you want that because that's what's going to give you a marbled effect. So you just spread that on. Now, I got that pretty thick, but that's okay. I'm gonna like it. If you want to do any glitter, this is a good time to add that. Here's my little box of watercolor markers and glitter glue. You know, you can buy the cheapy ones that you see for kids, 99 cents, and I think you get like eight tubes of this. Then I pay 88 cents for these bottles of glitter. Love it. Let's go with this one. So if I wanted, I could just squirt. I squirt like a lot, just a line, doesn't take much. And I'm going to just spread that in and it's going to make glitter all over the design. Okay, I'm going to put that one aside to dry. Alright, here's another one that I started with green and I have darker green in the center with some purple which kind of looks blue. And look, I'm going to just use this same brush and wipe that brush off on here. It's going to probably add just a little bit of glitter it can be anything. You don't have to be fussy at all. Now, I'm going to just hold this up to my light. Yeah, I see some little flecks of glitter. So let's um, add a little bit more to this one. I'm going to do this glitter paint. I'm just going to cover that. And that's going to somewhat seal the beads because it's acrylic paint. And it's going to dry clear. And that one's done. So I'm going to let a few of those dry, and then I will continue with the next step. All right, we are ready to continue. My paper has dried. So we're going to use this one to continue so I can show you how to make the actual beads. At this step, if you do want to use some markers, let me see here, where are my markers? Right here. Like with green and purple, maybe I want a little bit of, of uh, brown with that or even some more green. So let's just uh, decorate this a tiny bit more. We don't have to wait for this to dry because it's a, a marker. So let me just go like this. Wow, I am so artistic. And let's do something with the green here. Whoop. This green is very dry. You know what I do when a marker is dry? Dip it in water. Now, even though it's green, it can add some different colors of green, and I like that. Okay, we are ready to go. You're going to cut this paper. These. We're going to cut this paper in half. You can do it with scissors. You can do it with a paper trimmer, a paper cutter. Scissors are very easy to use, so you can do that. I like my paper cutter. And what I like to do is just fold it a little bit just to make a crease on each end because the paper gets wrinkled so it gives me an easy way to uh, know where my center is. And I'm just going to slide that right here. Cut. 
Okay, so I have two halves like that. Now, you're going to take your handy dandy template that we made in the previous video, so you need to go watch that video. And I'm just going to mark my lines. With one sheet of paper, you can make a necklace 24 beads long, meaning 24, you know, you can have 24 paper clips. So, we're going to mark each three quarter. No, I'm sorry, I take that back. These are not three quarter, these are seven eighths. And the best way to do this is to make a little template, which I hadn't even made until I did the other video. Okay, you're gonna do that to both pieces and you will end up with 24 strips. So let me get my paper cutter again. And again, you can use scissors. So we have a little odd piece right here that's going to get cut off because that's just what's left over. And you know I'm turning that into a bead. I always do. I turn all my scraps of paper, like this little guy, into odd beads that I put in this basket, and those are for Skylar to play with. She just loves it. I have so many beads in here, it's just so fun. Okay, so I'm gonna continue. If you have a paper cutter, I like to just put a crease right there where it's going to cut, and it's just so nice. I love paper cutters, everyone should have one. So you're just going to finish cutting. I don't need to do that right now because we're just going to go to the next step. Okay, so once you have decided how long you want your necklace, again, refer to the previous video, you're going to start wrapping your paper clips. You take a strip and you want the decorative side down. You're going to take the top here and just fold it over. This is explained in the other video too, but I'm just going to show you right here. So you can, uh, you know, because you could probably figure out how to make a chain all by yourself. Maybe you don't need a video for that. So always skip the two end paper clips because you want those to be done last. So you can easily hook your necklace together. Just, um, oh yeah, get some glue. Get some glue here on the paper. Pick a paper clip and fold right over and press. Then you're going to move on to another one, and you can skip between to make it easier. So let's just do another one here. Let's go way down here. We just want to let these dry a little bit so they don't um, slip around. So try to keep it in the center and let it dry. Let me do one more. Go way down here. And it doesn't take long to dry, so I'm just going to leave those sit for a few minutes. You can learn this step in the other video that I have below, but all you're going to do is take your paper and just start rolling it around. Now this one wants to slide. Add some glue. Keep on twirling. Now I can see this one doesn't want to stay in the center. That's okay. Then I always trim it about an eighth of an inch so that the seam falls right on the edge and it makes a seamless bead. So that way there's no seam on either side. And that's what it's going to look like. See how it looks marbled? It's just so fun and you'll be shocked at how beautiful your beads will come out and it just makes such a beautiful necklace. So I'm going to finish this one, and then I will show you the final product. All right, I'm done. I will try to take some pictures of this so that you can see some nice close-ups. I absolutely love it. This was a very subtle design that I did. Sometimes I go crazy with the designs, but you saw how I just put some green and a little bit of, what was it, some kind of pinkish or whatever, and a couple lines of marker and... You can see how marbled it looks. It's hard to see the glitter on camera, but there is glitter and it's very pretty. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more soon, plenty more. My new job is full-time YouTube, so I appreciate it very much. Please subscribe, bye.